thought this is an excellent choice uh, for a theme, uh, particularly by an African professional association. Uh, the issue of transition and transformation and uh, institutions uh, are issues that really are fundamental to progress and development in our countries. Political transition is supposed to help us move from what I call an unacceptable uh, governance process to what many consider to be relatively more acceptable governance process, like a move from an authoritarian uh, political situation to a more democratic political situation. But if you look around all over Africa, political transition has also been characterized by conflicts particularly in countries such as Nigeria, which are diverse with uh, religious and ethnic and other differences. So a key challenge of transition is how to stabilize the polity, how to ensure that elections are not conflict-ridden, and how to ensure that also elections bring about the right choice of the people for those who should lead them. In other words, a stable transition is also amenable to the actualization of the desirable objective of good governance. Because so long as politicians find a way of getting fraudulently elected in an electoral ritual every four years, then obviously there will be no good framework for, the, for good governance. You know? So what is most important in my view in order to enhance the positive aspects of transition that can create an avenue for transformation in our societies is to have electoral integrity. Because electoral integrity will create a framework in which the people will be the deciding factor in terms of who gets elected into either a, 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 an executive or a legislative position. And when our politicians, who are so reckless and so short-sighted, who think that the only way to win elections is by hook or by crook. When they now come to their realization that elections have integrity and that only the people can register and vote for you to get you into a position, then we will begin to have sanity, we will begin to have a more, uh, less conflict-ridden electoral process, and we will begin to have better legitimacy for the governance process, and therefore, uh, good governance in terms of delivering on the needs and the aspirations of the people. So I think this is an excellent theme, and uh, I believe that the deliberations that will come from the different panels should be able to give us a lot of um, good ideas in terms of how we can keep on improving our political transition and how that improvement can translate into good governance and stable democratic development in our country. Professor, being inside the ICC must hold a lot of memories for you, work memories, pressure memories, and maybe some hilarious moments yes. considering the, uh, the past elections. And also, you, you're the first INEC chairman to have conducted two general elections in the country. Right. Now, when you think transition and preparations ahead of the 2019 elections, mm -hmm. how far do you think we've come? I think we've come a long way. We've made incremental positive changes over time. And uh, the biggest challenge is how to protect this and how to keep on having additional incremental positive changes. Because political transition can always also be reversed. Because there are people out there, you know, who have different interests, different objectives, you know, and uh, who uh, really can reverse uh, uh, the positive trends that we see in, uh, uh, what do you call it, in, 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 in political transition. So the most important challenge that we constantly have to bear in mind and to work towards addressing is how to prevent what I call authoritarian reversal while continuously, incrementally adding positive changes, you know, in the uh, political as well as in the governance processes. So to my mind, again, electoral integrity is key. It's not the only thing, and it is also not just integrity of the election management body, but it is about the integrity of the entire process and all the participants who engage 
with the process. And so partnership between election management body and all other stakeholders is absolutely necessary in bringing about stable transition that can bring incremental positive changes in our countries. Memories from the 2015 elections are still very fresh in the minds of Nigerians. Now the build-up for 2019 is here. You can feel it, you can hear the reverberations. Now, we survived the negative predictions by the international uh, world for the 2015 elections, messages of doom and gloom, their disintegration, we survived that. When you think 2019, what, what comes to your mind? Now, when I think of 2019, the first thing is I'm an incurable optimist about positive things happening in our country, but I also am a strong believer that things do not just happen. People have to work hard, particularly to protect the gains of our transition and democratization and to keep on improving and adding value uh, to it. So what comes to my mind is that, well, there are serious threats, but it is an opportunity. It should be considered as an opportunity by all stakeholders to work together and to ensure that 2019 is much, much better than 2015. Because that's what we all aspire. Yes, we, 2015 was the raising of the bar of not only electoral integrity, but deepening democracy in our country. But we don't want it to be it. You know, We want in 2019 to see something remarkably much, much better. I can tell you from what I know that the current electoral commission has done a lot in order to prepare better, much, much better for the 2019 general elections. They've done a lot of training for their staff. They've done, they've done a lot of work with regards to voter education. They've engaged the National Assembly with regards to having uh, improvements in the electoral legal framework. And they are determined to ensure that 2019 elections are much better than 2015.